What's up, Charm City 187? Um, I've made this video like eight times, no joke, and like I just keep getting so pissed off <laughs> that I gotta restart because I keep making myself look like a fucking tool. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this again. Ah, this is Madden 12. In order to play any EA game online, you have to accept their new terms and conditions, which basically is stating that your EA account is now an Origins account, which means that Origin is basically uh, EA's virgin, version of uh, Steam, and like Steam, it takes all your information, anything you do on your computer, anything you do on your home network. And it has access to all of it. And it can take it and do with it as they want. And in their words, it's at their own sole discretion. Which means they're above the law. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's fucking disgusting. See how it says I have zero coins in the bottom right hand corner? Over the past three months, I've spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Madden coins. And just because I hit I do not accept, the motherfuckers took them away. I accepted EA's terms and conditions before to be able to play this shit online. I shouldn't have to accept a new one with all this other bullshit added in. Like, look at this shit. All right, you can read that. All right, I'll read it. By registering for an EA account, also known as Origin, using this site or any of EA's online mobile products and services, you agree to EA's privacy policy and that we may transfer and store your account information in the USA. By registering, you agree that EA may process your data in accordance with the following, following privacy policy and that you will abide by EA's terms of service. If you do not agree to this policy, please do not use any EA site online or mobile product or service. Ah, uh, where was it at? I don't think it was in this part. It was in uh, Terms of Service and then all the way down at 20. I think it was Chapter 21. Like, this shit is fucking disgusting. Years and years and years of giving these fuckers my money and they're gonna fucking fuck me like this. This is fucking bullshit. And now, now I know how the PC gamers felt when they did that motherfucking bullshit with Battlefield 3 making them have to get Origin and all that other bullshit and why they were complaining. Now I see why the fuck they were complaining. <laughs> a claim related to or arising from allegations of theft, privacy, or unauthorized use. In addition, nothing in this section shall prevent either party from initiating a small claims court action. Class action litigation. Like, I've already read this shit so many times, and now it's just words to me, like, it's like, you all are fucking assholes, and I'm gonna probably be one of the only ones that doesn't accept this shit, and then everybody else is just gonna accept it and not even, like, attempt to read this shit, especially the motherfucking Battlefield 3 fanboys, they don't, shit, they could be like, your life is mine in 10 years, and they'll be like, alright, as long as I can play Battlefield 3 until something else comes out, and then 10 years later, they're gonna be like, oh, shit. <coughs> Entire agreement. The terms of service included, including the EA privacy policy and other supplemental terms of incorporated by reference to this document, and any posted rules or instructions regarding a particular game activity contest or sweepstakes constitutes the agreement between 
you and EA relating to your rights and obligations in the use of EA services. If there is any conflict between the terms of service and any other rules or instructions posted on an EA service, EA shall resolve the conflict in its sole discretion. Which basically means they're uh, above the law. They don't have to do they don't have to say shit to anybody. They can do with you, with your shit, whatever the fuck they want. And there's not a damn thing you or anybody can do about it. And it says it right there. EA shall resolve the conflict in its sole discretion. If you don't know what some of them words mean, go look them up. Because I just told you what they mean if you don't fucking believe me. But yeah. In its sole discretion, EA may contact you to review and evaluate one or more games, aspects of games, or online features prior to commercial release of the, for the purpose of identifying program errors. Well, no, they're going to make you fill out a fucking 100 page essay and find out if you like a game that their game is competing against and they won't give it to you unless you're an EA dick rider. That's what happened in Battlefield 3. Don't even say it didn't. Upon request, you agree to immediately to return to EA all copies of the pre-release copy and confidential proprietary information. All right, well, it's not like anybody really is going to be getting pre-release. I thought they were about to say you have to return all the games, all copies of games. All right, this is tester bullshit. But yeah. Read some of this shit. Like, uh. Like, pick on a uh, privacy policy and go to the table of contents and look at, like, where your information is held. How does EA protect your personal information? Like, it even says in these parts that they get that they can give your personal information to anyone in any body at any time for any reason. But everybody will just accept it. <coughs> That's the problem with people these days. Let's see what this one is. This was the good one. Use and expiration of content entitlements. So basically, there's an expiration date on everything. Well, we already knew that, but... Content and entitlement availability. Third-party par content. Your own content. Paid services. Termination of services. Cancellation of your account. Rules of conduct. Not controlled by EA, software, utility, and tools, export control, laws, updates, limitations, and then <clears throat> indemnification. I don't even know what the fuck that means, but oh well. Yeah. Shit, <laughs> I was in prison for five years almost, and I didn't even have to deal with half the bullshit in this. All right, what was that one I saw that I wanted to go look at? Oh, yeah, 11. Come on. Rules of conduct. Post, transmit, promote, or distribute content that is illegal. Harass, that and embarrass, spam, or do anything else to another player that is unwanted. <laughs> Shit, every time I get done playing a game of Madden, somebody sends me a message calling me a nigger or a faggot. Every time I play somebody in Madden and beat their ass, I get, I get a message about 30 seconds later calling me a nigger, a bitch, or a faggot. One of the three. <sighs> organize, effectuate, or participate in any activity group guild that is harmful, abusive, hateful, 
racially, ethnically, religiously, or otherwise offensive. Well, I guess I would count there because I don't give a fuck what color you are. I probably hate your ass anyways just because you're probably fucking retarded. Disrupt the flow of chat in the chat room. Impersonate another person, including celebrities. Upload any software or content that you do not own or have permission to freely distribute. And if you... If you read closely, you don't even own the fucking game that you bought, that they sold you. You don't even own that shit. So, just think about that. And I'm out.